Okay, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm Animal Man, Volume 1, um, The Hunt. Wait, you're doing my Jeff O'Meal. That's right, guy. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm actually going in the store, I'm talking about part of it from New 52. Even though New 52 is a failure, I keep saying over, over when I get New 52, give us some good stuff. Animal Man, the problem is of it. Since it's the first volume, and this is old, this do you make some spoilers, so, sorry about that. Here we go. So, okay. enjoy my book. I saw my intro after you get to our time we really got this book. Why? Because this is the first this Animal Man comic I've read. And that's pretty good. So, let's start. Um, what, what's the basic plot? Um, into the web. Meet Buddy Baker. Every man. Family man. Animal man. Mm-hmm. Armed with the unique power to take on the abilities of any animal, um, Buddy is a hero turned activist struggling with the challenge of being a husband and father. When four year old daughter Maxine su suddenly starts exhibiting her disturbing powers, Buddy begins an odyssey that will lead him to the root of his and Maxine's power in the heart of the land. So this journey would shake Buddy to the core as it calls into question all he has ever known about himself, the actual ordinary power, and true destiny. That's a big, that's the big part in a nutshell. Okay, now going into this comic, as you were know from my history, you, you actually have New 52, you can tell I hate New 52 in day one. However, though, that being said, New 52 did give us some good stories. Like, not everything about it was bad. Particularly, Animal Man. Jeff Vermeer, in my opinion, we, we done Animal Man, that actually makes it a lot more interesting because, here's the thing. Animal Man one kid that I never got into at the other kid and still never got into it until now. And after we did after this book, it's actually pretty good, it's actually really great because oh shit, they're gonna the dog tail right. Um I talk about all the quick sack by um Charles Foreman. Okay. Charles Foreman is a great artist and his artwork in this book is very creepy. Like oh shit, no, is he read any horror comics? Or read but get any horror? Story in reality, you you feel right at home with this comic. Oh, it should be disturbing. Like, it goes away to dark territory. Yeah, the new thing is you were dark, but, but in this case, I think this story is very dark because holy shit, yeah, this story, this story was amazing. And as a horror fan, I feel right at home because this is like my uh, Cthulhu, which is pretty cool. And if you're a fan of Cthulhu or any other term of party like that, you ought to love this book. Okay, this, this artwork is amazing. Um, Tre Trevor Foreman, I see what you did, great artwork, good job. Um, after the story. Um, the story, in my opinion, is really, really interesting because it delved into a lot of Swamp Thing of party. Like, particularly with the red, and the green, and the lot. What the lot? The lot or it's a very complicated it, it, enemy. Um, think of them kind of like video like zombies, except unlike zombies, more like video game they represent death. Like, like red is white, green is I think for plant life, um, and the lot is death. Kind, kind of like the green red and core, like, like East core, but unlike. That mythology, um, this one goes into more like Kufu, more like horror elements. And I've seen it. This is a, a very, very cool, interesting mythology. That, be, that being said, though, at the, uh, I still, I never read Swamp Thing, so I don't know if Swamp Thing connect. Okay, Swamp Thing does connect, but I know where that went in the story. Animal Man and Swamp Thing do crossover. So. Maybe, maybe, maybe if, I play, if I read more Swamp Thing, I can understand his side of the story. But for what I have Animal Man, he's going to be pretty great. Um, I take care of this himself. Um, Animal Man, in this, in this story, is really interesting because he's a father, yes, and in my opinion, he's really cool, and his power side is very really interesting. He can't have any eviction, but I don't like eviction, his power comes from magic. His power comes more from the red cell, which is very interesting as the retcon. And very dark. Um, I think a four-year-old daughter, Maxine. She's very interesting too because, because her powers when you get to see her like fight the lot. 
It's very, uh, very awesome and very badass. Like, I really love his daughter. The daughter's really cool. Also, the mother and son they get to fight too. That's pretty cool. Like, granted, son doesn't have any power. That's fine. Um, but when you get the shotgun and shoot the lot in the face, it's funny. Like, that's awesome, badass. Um, uh, as for the mother, the mother is pretty cool too. Um, I forget her name, but she's really cool. She gets to kick the lot like that too. Um, I'm gonna talk about. As, as for the rest of the story itself, and uh, this story might be going to do a dark tale, like, like, <laughs> like, there's a really disturbing images in, like, in this book, like, especially with a lot, with a lot of people, human beings. Maybe like the thing, like from John Carpenter, the thing, but a lot more creepier, and darker, and what, and that's another personality. Because the thing has a personality. Anyway, don't, that's beside the point. Point eight, the wide range of ancient antagonists. Um, uh, what to about? Oh, um, this book, this book did end a cliffhanger, so, spoil it, right? But it did have to read, read it after you read it into an Indian culture was one thing. Uh, my only negative with this book is that it just feels way too short, because, as you will know, uh, I don't really know what they might know. This is book and what they got canceled because of bullshit reasons. But during the later volumes of Animal Man, I think it gets a way a lot more interesting, more dark. But it's still a good book. Um, basically, I'm definitely made took like a B, a B with a D with a character. It actually made it a lot more interesting. Like, yeah, the new Fifty Two was a failure, but financial. Okay, for an Animal Man, it's just a quality right here, feel, but. It didn't. During the early new, new 52, it was actually pretty good. At least for two, three characters. And Animal Man is one of them. Animal Man got a major retreatment in the new 52. So, I give Jeff and me a credit. I give all the art team credit. And, and, and expect the reality of this year for getting this book another chance. And one thing I am hoping for with DC Reaper is that Animal Man does get another chance. Animal Man deserves justice, damn it. I don't want to talk about. I think that's, that's better I'll give too much spoilers. So, okay, I'll do my video, I'll do my final thoughts. My final thoughts on volume one, Animal Man. Alright. I recommend you get this book, it's very good. And I recommend it to a horror fan, you love this book. If you're a fan of what well, Swamp Thing, you get this you love this book. Trust me, it's one of the best things that came out in UBT too. I think that's pretty good. I said actually one of my fingers, that's a great. I mean I'm gonna be waiting. I give Animal Man Volume 1, The Hunt Camera, please. A 5 out of 5. Perfection. A plus. If you're a fan of horror, buy this book. If you're a fan of the of Animal Man, buy this book. Trust me, it's way better than, than, than the other new video crowd that we got. That way, way down the line. Anyways, um, I love this um. That's a review of Animal Man in Volume 1, The Hunt. Um, please kind of more tell you think about this um, volume. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Also, what's your opinion on Animal Man as a whole? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Please comment down below. Also, if you're a on Twitter, and please comment down And that's right. Peace out. Welcome, Animal Man. Woo! See ya. Bye. Oh, if I had, say to my review of Green Lantern and, and Titans. Yeah, yes, guys, I said I will do my review of Green Lantern and how to join Green Lantern Corps from, Re from Rebirth. <laughs> See ya.